mark a disappointing result. A lot of Bristol's tries came from transition moments in that first half. Was that due to their excellence in defence or was that a bit of sloppiness on our end? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both, but you know, I've got to credit Bristol for their defence. I thought the line speed they uh, they put on us was, was big and ultimately forced errors, interceptions and you know, you look at Bristol over the last few years, one of their major strengths has been their transitions, you know, the way they offloaded, um, didn't create any breakdowns and you know the way they moved the ball away was, you know, credit to them. Obviously we know we had a lot of young players on the pitch, but is it that experience that probably let us down in those transition moments to allow them to get on top of us? Yeah, I, I, I think you know you, you you look at you look at those transition moments like you can't give up the ball um, as we did, um, and you know as soon as you give up the ball against a team like Bristol, you, you've got to transition very quickly. You know they move the ball well, they play the ball in space well, um, and you've got to kind of scramble and probably. As, as, as those moments went on, we probably overchase, committed too many people to a breakdown. Um, that allowed them to play the space and score tries from there. One thing that was a positive in the first half, there weren't many as we know, but Mackenzie Graham, on his first senior start, to, to go and score a try like that, a really proud day for him and his family. Yeah, I thought uh, Mackenzie, you know, that, that try was a, was a great finish. Um, really pleased with how Mackenzie went. I thought he uh, you know, got through a whole lot of work um, and this is a great experience for him. Um, and yeah, massively proud of uh, Mackenzie, and I'm sure his family will be also. And yeah, probably a few, few other youngsters also. So you look at Josh Dingley, first start, you know, the amount of work he got through, the tackles he made, the carries he made, he got through a lot of hard work. And even George Warboy's off the bench for that last 20 minutes, made line, lots of line breaks. So yeah, you know, some real positives for those, for those players. Unfortunately, that didn't transfer onto the scoreboard in the end. But are those the positives that you can take from this game? Although small, going into kind of the last Premiership Cup game against Bristol. Yeah, definitely. You, you you've got to take those positives. You know, you look at um, the players that have played in this competition. You look where they are now. Um, this is another uh, step in that direction for a lot of our players. And you know, 15 minutes in that second half, suddenly we're back in the game. It's 40 points to 19. The game could have swung either way. And you know, I thought the way we actually built pressure with the ball was really good. Uh, and unfortunately, it swung the other way. But yeah. Um, We've got to have a look as a group and we'll move forward now and look how we can uh, fix some things going into Worcester. I think the great thing is we've got a couple of games coming up for the whole squad over the next few weeks. So yeah, it's a good opportunity for people to get some valuable game time.